Today we're talking about battery checkers. Now I have kind of the classic, simple two to three dollar battery checker right here. Put the link in the description below, and then I have a nice UR UAV uh, upgraded model with a little LCD screen display. And I'm gonna tell you why you need to have one of these in your bag, in your pack, in your case, whenever you're going to fly and at home at all times. Here's the reason, guys. This is a brand new 6S battery. It is a China Hobby Line Black Series 1300 milliamp 6S. Uh, I noticed that there's no C rating anywhere on this. Very interesting. Oh no, there is, it's 100C. Um, but the reason that I need to check this battery is I flew this uh, for the first time was brand new at the 2019 multi GP qualifier, which I attended last week. And you can see right here, there's a little bit of damage right there on the shrink wrap. Now I need to be able to know, is this pack damage? This is it just external damage. And um, I need to be able to, when I go up to the line, I have to make sure that I have picked a full battery and not a discharged one. I saw that happen to two or three people at the race where they accidentally picked up a used battery. And you should always bring with you two fireproof bags to every event, one for your full batteries and one for your empty batteries. But if you don't have that, what are you gonna do? As you strap on your battery to your quad, you need to check it. Now this standard cheap version, um, you put the negative side over to the left, plug it in, you'll get an annoyingly super loud beep, and then you will see the cell voltages go through all six cells. Now the other reason you wanna be able to check this is you wanna make sure that they are all still balanced. If you have one cell that is drastically lower than the other five cells, then there's a good chance that that cell is damaged and you do not want to use that battery. You do not want to put it with your other batteries. You want to safely dispose of that uh, battery and get rid of it. So look up how you can do that. There's certain measures you can take. You're going on to discharge it with a, uh, a smoke stopper or something with a light bulb on it to be able to discharge that battery safely, but do not go and try to recharge it, especially not at your house, guys, not safe. So if you don't wanna sit there and hear that beep every time you check a battery, it's particularly annoying if other people are flying around you and they get a really loud beep, um, then you want something like this. Now, if I plug this in, the negative side's clearly labeled goes on the right for this one. So plug it in and I instantaneously, okay, there's the neighbor's AC. There's the neighbor's AC. If it's all of a sudden terrible now, it's that guy over there. Um, now you can see all six cell voltages at the same time. And if I glance at this, I can see they are all within 3.78 to 3.80, um, which is perfectly fine. This pack was not damaged after all, it is just the external shrink wrap. But I can also tell that this is discharged. If I had plugged this into my quad and I was about to go to the line, um, I would not have gotten very far because this pack has already been flown. The other cool thing about this is it has a little USB-C um, here that you can use uh, to charge little things. Um, I'm not sure if I would actually use this as a charger, but you can do that. You can also test, it has a little switch on here that allows you to test um, your receiver. You can put it into a mode right here by pushing this little button on the bottom, switch the modes. You have an S bus mode, you have a DSM mode, and that allows you to check your channels if you ever need to recheck something like that. Uh, PPM as well, PWM, and then back to your voltage. So I really like this option because it allows you to see everything at once without having to wait for each battery cell to cycle. And uh, <laughs> it's only about you know, eight to 10 bucks. So for 10, for a few bucks more, get one of these. Um, I generally keep both of these with me just in case. I did have the initial one that was sent to me, which I think was a pre-production model, not work right. But the one that they sent me with the production packaging has been working great. 
So I definitely recommend that. Links in the description for both of these below. If 10 bucks is too high for your budget, which, hey guys, I get it at least get one of these. And the, the thing with the noise, there is a button on here. You can configure this to beep at a certain voltage. Some people like to run these in line with their goggle battery. So when your voltage drops below, whatever you set it, say you set it for 3.5, you'll start getting this audible beep, letting you know before your goggle battery actually fully discharges uh, to go and replace it. Now, Fat Sharks beep on their own, so I'm not sure if that's necessary, but it is a really good price. But if you have a couple extra bucks, you want the versatility of this. You don't want to have to wait while you're in the field under blisteringly hot conditions. Just get one of these guys. Pretty cool. Thanks.